Alright guys, so Infinix is here with your first ever flip phone and it's called the Infinix Zero Flip. Now what's interesting about this device here is that it's sitting at a mid-range category, something that we have not really seen here in our markets because the flip phones today are mostly very expensive. However, the Zero Flip is going for RM2999 here in Malaysia and of course, granted, they are actually mid-range flip phones. However, if you're looking for a flip phone and you do not want to spend a lot of money, maybe you should check out today's video. So let's begin by checking out their designs. Now first things first, we do have two colorways here with me. We have the pink as well as the black. Now these colors are the WGS and Forecasted Trendy Colors of 2025. So the design should look quite fresh up till next year. Now what I like about the back panel here is that it comes in this uh, sort of like rocky sand texture and it's actually very smooth to the touch and it doesn't capture any of your fingerprints or smudges at the back. Another thing to point out here is that I noticed that the hinge was actually very very well made and by that you can actually tilt the cover to any angle that you want and it will not fall close. So I think that's great because this gives you more flexibility to position the flip phone at any kind of angle that you actually want. So that's just in terms of the design. Now I think we should check out the cover display because I think that's the main thing that you know a lot of people are going to be attracted to. So at the front here, what we have is a 3.64 inch unit and the cover display is actually quite interesting because not only is it an AMOLED display, but it also refreshes at 120 hertz. So everything is actually quite smooth on there. Now there's a couple of cool tricks that you can do with the cover display. Now first things first, it actually acts similar to your own home screen on the inside where you can actually choose to put a couple of apps directly on the cover display. So this is actually very convenient because say for example, if you just want to use the small display on the outside without opening the phone itself, you can actually run your applications like your Instagram, your TikTok, your YouTube, as well as YouTube Music, and you can actually choose what kind of apps you want to put on there. So that's actually very convenient because it works in full screen, and you can actually have a very comfortable experience when browsing your content. Now moving on, another fun thing you can do with the cover display is actually all about personalization. So over here, there's an AI wallpaper built in where you can choose all kinds of funny wallpapers, but there's also the ones with 3D pads going on there which you can actually interact with them, and I think they would appeal to some of you, uh, maybe some people out there, and it does look very nice on the cover screen. Now, let's move on and talk a bit about about the screen on the inside. Now the screen on the inside is actually a 6.9 inch unit. Again, it's an AMOLED display, but this time it's an LTPO OLED display. That means that the refresh rate is variable and it'll help you save a bit more of battery. Now what's cool about this display is that it also comes with a couple of cool tricks and this is actually tied to the camera section which I want to share with you right now. Now speaking about the camera section, it's worth mentioning that we do have a, a dual sensor at the back. Now this is being led by a 50 megapixel main unit with OIS and EIS and you also have a 50 megapixel ultra wide unit and they actually support the pro stable videos. That means that everything that you take on the phone itself is going to be very stable. Now the rear cameras actually support 4K 30fps but if you plan on doing a lot of selfie kind of videos, you will appreciate the selfie camera on the inside because over here we also get a 50 megapixel unit but this one actually supports 4K 60fps, so everything is going to be a little bit more fluid. Alright, so I mentioned just now, we do have a couple of tricks going on. So what are they really? Alright, so first things first, if you just tilt your phone like this, if you just fold it up, you can actually activate the hover mode and you can actually use the top part of the screen here as your display and actually hover in the bottom section to actually carry out a couple of functions like a zoom or changing camera modes. Now secondly, like I mentioned earlier on, because of the tilt itself, you can actually use it as a phone stand and place it anywhere you want to take those selfies and it actually does a very good job at it because you are using the main cameras. Now number three, the phone actually supports a DV mode and that's actually like holding a phone like this and recording in a more retro kind of vibe. Not only that, it also comes with those retro filters on the inside, so videos that you take will all have that retro look and again, I think this will appeal to some of you videographers out there. Now moving on, it doesn't just stop there. If you have a friend who actually helps you to take photos all the time, maybe if you are a couple and sometimes you get your partner to actually take your photos but they don't take the photos very nicely, well, good news is that this time you can actually have the cover display turned on so whenever they are looking at you and trying to take a photo, you can also post while actually seeing the cover screen there so you get the perfect shot. Now last but not least, there's also the AI integration involved. So for example, you can choose a couple of clips and the phone itself will use AI to create a vlog for you or you can use features like AI Picture Cutout or AI Smart Eraser. So ultimately, after using the phone for quite a bit, I noticed that the camera here was actually quite impressive. Not only is it able to get some pretty nice ultra wide shots, but you can also get those in sensor shots. And I noticed that the portrait mode was actually very realistic. I think this actually makes the portrait look a bit more real because I don't look like I was cut out and pasted onto a specific background. Anyway, moving on, let's talk a little bit about the performance since this is a mid-range device. So let's start off with the chipset. We are having a Dimensity 8020 in here. You also have 8 plus 8 GB of RAM and 512 GB of internal storage. In terms of the battery, we do have a 4720 mAh unit and it does support that 70 watt fast charge that will get you from 0 to 48% in under 15 minutes, which again is fairly quick. Now last but not least, I know software updates is also a very important concern for most of you. And in this case, these phones are actually running Android 16 and Infinix promises to give you up to three years of Android updates. So quite all right. So at the end of the day, you know, these are actually very strong and capable mid-range flip phone devices 
If you are looking for a brand new flip phone and your budget is under 3000 ringgit, you should definitely check out the Infinix Zero Flip. Not only does it come with that really awesome cameras at the back, but you also get a couple of cool tricks that you can do on the cover display as well as on the inside. Having said that, Infinix Malaysia is also putting in a lot of effort to try and gain your confidence. So they're giving a one year screen crack protection warranty, doesn't matter if it's the inside or the outside. Furthermore, the phone themselves come with 24 months of warranty and should anything happen during that period, Infinix will actually come and pick up your phones from you. Let me know what you think about the Infinix Zero Flip. Thank you for watching this video all the way to the end and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Do take care, stay safe and bye bye.